Yeah, it's Speedback Gaming. Welcome back to my Denmark series. We are the North Sea Empire. I don't want to know the historical significance of the North Sea Empire. Mm -hmm. I like the idea of North Sea Empire as well. I'm surprised that's not an actual formable nation. Like you take out like Norway, Sweden, Denmark, and then you take out the UK and then you can form it. That would be really freaking sweet, right? Why is that not in the game? Actually, let's just stop for a moment. You know what's really cool? They added to Waking the Tiger. Formable nations. If there isn't formable nations in Man the Guns, I am going to be so unhappy. Because this is the coolest thing you can do, right? It gives you actual missions and objectives, things you can do. Aside from achievements, obviously. Yeah, anyway, back to the game. So we're currently uh, justifying on Greater Finland. And I realize we can form the Alma Union. That's right. That makes the Scandinavian Empire. We are going to do this because it's going to give us a crap ton of manpower. Oh! 17,000 manpower to half a million. Oh, I realize at this point we don't need the manpower, so I am going to switch out to deep battle. The reason we go deep battle is we get a 20% reduction in supply, which is very good. I think I want to go for logistics wizard too, so I'm not going to select another trait for that guy. I am also going to pull off 10 of you dudes and do a naval invasion of Helsinki. Nine zero divisions. Two here. Don't need this and this anymore. We have full naval control. Twenty five subs. Sounds weird to have submarines to have naval control. That's one element I think I would change in our in man the guns. I don't think submarines should have naval control because you can spam them out and because they're invisible, it just makes them undetectable. I'm not actually think I'm for that. Okay, let's make very big. Divisions. Make engineers on this. No, we're running out of XP. Ah, interesting. Hmm. Oh no, we're going to get XP back anyway because we're giving guns to China. That's something we're going to get back anyway. Uh, why we fight gives us extra war support. Um... Yeah, uh, we we'll go for the civvies. There's not much point because we do at this point we've become so fat that it's I don't know, is it even a big deal anymore? Guess we could build up this one, this one, and one for the extra steel. Why we fight? I wonder if it might be better just to spread these guys out just a little bit. You boys here. Go here. So this division now uses a total of this one. Well, 13,000 manpower. Twenty-four of you. Here. Good. Yugoslav has joined the Chinese United Front. Italy has declared war on them. Well, that's a, an unusual combination of factions, I'll give it that. What surprises me the most is that France and the UK haven't guaranteed Yugoslavia. They've had to join their own faction. Weird. <laughs> okay! Uh, do you want... Yes. We've got so much artillery. We need to upgrade that. Yeah. Yeah. We need to f focus a little bit more on air, I think, at the moment. We need to import a little bit more rubber from Malaysia. Oil from Germany and USA. Don't need the deal anymore. Okay, I think that'll do. We could make some military factories. Guess we don't even really need them though, do we? 
working on cast. We could do Air Doctrine next. Oh, we need fighters though. Operation Integrity or Battlefield Support. We already have Strategic Destruction. Oh, we start out with that. Actually, we might, we might not start out with that. That might be something we gain later on. That might be one of Denmark's researchers. Hmm, Battlefield Support. I'm going to go Integrity because I, I like the extra agility. Right, I think we can stop boosting Finland now. Do I guarantee? I bet if I'm guaranteeing, I can't justify, right? I'm really nervous that the Soviets are going to declare on Finland. Hmm, okay. For you boys. Boom. Go here. You. Exercise. New general, clean slate man, with no special traits of any kind. Oh my god, we've got so much manpower! Oh, and we're still mobilizing. We could step down to uh, extensive, couldn't we? I think we are going to at some point. Rocket technology doesn't help us. import the extra rubber. We've got so much civilian production, it's stupid not to. And we got the military fight. Why we fight? Give us extra 10% war support. I guess that might be worthwhile. Running out of things to research. Why are these guys so under strength? Also, we've got tons of support equipment. Guns is slightly lacking. Artillery we've got crap tons of. I'm a bit nervous of guns. I realize we need an airport here too. Alright, good. There's nothing to spend political power on either. Because we're backs on everything. I guess we could go for war propaganda, but... Alright, this second we don't need to. A bit more aluminium. Good. Alright, we need to make our fires a lot better too now. Alright, we have got our justifications already. Uh, you, are we wrapping around you? Here, the Soviets aren't justifying, that's good. Romania has joined the United Front. Huh. Oh, and they're at war with China. And they are at war with the Allies. I don't think Italy's going to survive very long. <laughs> okay. Alright. You guys good to go immediately. We've got full naval control. What we'll do first is escort. Then we'll do naval convoy raiding. We haven't got the range to cover this. That's a shame. In the position. Okay, artillery genius. Yes. We need to be able to hit as hard as we can. I'm petrified. Oh no! 10th of April? Oh, there's loads of time then. Never mind. In fact, that's actually really good. That gives us loads of time. Does that change their time to justify? No, it's the same time. Oh, we've got loads of time. We can do this in lightning speed. That's perfect. I think if they were at war with me and they started justifying, I think that would uh, not take as long, right? I'm, I'm pretty certain of that. Go here. Go here. Another guy, go here. You guys need to be aggressive. 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 Go, go, go. I want one of you guys to squeeze through the center. Oh, hello. Hello there. Go 
go here and here. Wrap around you. And you're going to rush to the north. These divisions are probably doing crap since the soft attack there. 250 almost. Oh, they're justifying on us? Okay. Didn't expect that. Oh, well, I'm prepared for you. Bring it on, Soviet big boy. Almost like... It's almost like I rehearse it this way, guys. Almost like... We have a dramatic end to the campaign. I like it. They're pretty much dead right now. Oh, they just have... They've got no victory points. Death to communists. Did you just see that? Hang on. We're not justifying on them, are they? Oh, it's a message. Is that a message that's come to us? Go. Guns. I'm going to sit on that for a little while because we are going to try and rush assault rifles. Maybe. Why haven't we taken that one? Dead! Goodbye, Greater Finland. Hello, Nordic Unity. Ah! Unification of the Nordics. Brilliant. It would be really cool if you get like a claim on Estonia or something like that. That'd be kind of sweet, right? The Soviet Union is justifying on us. Why? They want East Prussia. Do I just... Li I give it up. I give it up. I don't want it anyway. So what we'll do is we'll hold this area then. In that case... Um, do that. Do that. Exercise, build a big airport, here, how's the supply, pretty good, organizer halfway, we really would love infantry expert here, extra, extra attack is going to be proper worthwhile. Everyone go here for now. That's the fighter. Pop up 200. 400 of you. Excess. We've got tacticals. We can make another gas wing. We need to make really well rounded fighters here. That's going to be important. You know what? I've changed my mind. Uh, no, we'll start with 200 stacks. That's fine. Yeah, let's go to uh, artillery. That's a little bit too far ahead of time, I think. I wonder if there should be more divisions here. It's evenly spread them out, but I'm not sure that's the best idea. I'll pop you here. I draw a new front line. It won't let me draw it here. I will. I have to manually draw it. Okay. As long as we can capture Leningrad, I'm okay with that. Grab another bunch of you boys. Alright, now grab all of them. 12 divisions here. Nice. Why? It's the 24 right at the top there. That's stupid. There we go. Justification will finish on the 9th of April. We've still got another five months, four months. Pumping out a crap ton of fires, that's good. Pumping out lots of artillery as well, which is also good. Need to be aware of naval invasions. I don't actually think that's going to be a problem. 
I don't imagine they've got that much in the Baltic. I imagine they would. We're making all those goods. That's good. Build the port up in Copenhagen too. Make another 24 of these. And we are now lacking artillery. Okay. Oh, we're not doing too bad on guns now. In that case, we'll split those round. Put that to the top. Could do with right now the air designer. Not enough time, I don't think. Maybe they will. I think I will. I'll just have enough time to get the air designer. I wonder how many days this will knock off. Fighter. So we're going to go from 20 days. 17. Do we have all the... No, he went for the bomber focus. Going for tacticals, so that's a bit of a waste, but... Alright, you are good now. You are good. You are still working on it. Still working on that. March. And what date on April do you justify? 9th. Okay. I'm one day away from my birthday. What is going on here? Why is there like two front lines here? Why is there another one here? Oh my god, AI. Why? Why is this? What's this? Is everyone assigned? Yeah, they are. Soviet Union has declared war on Poland. Interesting. And... What faction are they going to join? That's... Whoa! Poland, are you attacking? Oh no, I realise this is a problem because it means I'm going to border them now, aren't I? So I guess I'm going to have to deploy you boys. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. I like brilliant strategists. Why I like brilliant strategists is they're more likely to roll points into attack. And having a nice attack general is going to be super good. Alright, let's sort our production for a moment. Aluminium. Oil from Germany. Rubber from Malaysia. I'm, I think we'll be okay in the Baltic. I think our navy is going to be okay. Right, you guys need to stop exercising. Can't believe how big our army is right now. That feels so good to have a decent sized army. Are we all in a good position here? Yeah. Ideally, I like to spearhead through the center and try and split them off, but we'll see. I'll make gradual gains and see how things go. I don't mind losing East Prussia. Not a big deal to me. It looks like they're going to peace conference out. It's looking that way. No one guarantee Poland, guys. No one cares about Poland. History repeats itself. Kind of interesting how they've switched sides. Hmm. Really confusing the AI here. 
they have zero divisions. It's because it's the stupid template that they've got. So right now there's nothing I can do about Germany's manpower. <laughs> and they're unlimited. They're on volunteer only now. They've gone up disarmed. Interesting. They're still not making any divisions because that's why I set them to. Like, God knows how long ago. Do we rush support equipment? Sure, why not? Are you guys not going to move? Are you just going to sit here? Poland's still holding on. Got oh, no, there we go. They've completely been out. Oh, they've made a puppet state. Oh, cool. So are they going to declare on me now? Or are they still thinking about it? We did it, boys. The Nordic Union, the Nordic Empire has been formed. It'd be really cool if I got cores. Like, if we had a core on, like, the UK, that would be so sweet. <laughs> that would be so sweet. I feel like I want to go for that one. Yeah, we'll do that in a moment. Not yet, though. Yeah, we'll probably rush night attack or something like that. That's a lot of divisions. Don't think I can independently take out. All right, it's got to the point now where I've got so much civvy production, I might as well just spend it all. Um, oh, we're on free trade. I can't even believe it. I just realized something else as well. We didn't finish the tech, did we? I think what I'll do with you is rush all the encryption. Encryption. We'll do nuke actually because it removes an extra 2% for research time. So we'll stack as much research as we can. Oh, it's because we're on service by request. I was thinking I was thinking for a moment, like we have a lot of manpower, but I feel like in a weird way we have a little bit too much manpower for like who we are and what we're doing. Oh, we're 34. Oh, I've not even made the full template yet. Infantry, infantry. Boom. Watch, they declare war on me now. Oh, we're low on guns! Wow. Hmm. Don't expect that. Working on the fighter, it's almost done. Remember, guys, I knew you guys are probably facepalm that I've gone for concentrated and disperse would have been the right option, but remember, I didn't get to pick that because that was what the AI picked. So I just went for it. Went with what the AI said. No! Oh my god, you son of a beach. They literally attacked exactly when I didn't want them to, too. Brought Poland into the war. They don't appear to be doing anything, though. I think the first thing I'd like to do is take Leningrad. And we're managing to push them back with ease. Oh, and uh, Germany wants to send us guns. I'm okay with that. This is going to be a flimsy front line. Uh, what I'd like to do here is charge in. Ideally, once again, the plan is to try and split the center. I'm pretty confident we can do this, you know. Yeah, I'm pretty confident we can do this. Only problem is they can retreat from this port, so maybe we should make a push on this side. Oh, there's not enough divisions. Uh, maybe we can squeeze in. Get excess military factories. Oh. Yeah. Copy. Up. What have we got? Crap ton. Grab Leningrad. Did we beat? Oh, they're counter attacking now. That's the only port here, right? We split them here, and this area will be out of supply. Fire! 
Okay, have they made any gains? Oh! Okay, they have in the north. Okay, um... They're not at war. In that case, we just retreat out. In that case... There is a chance they could declare on Germany, and I'm aware of that. Why it might be a pain in the butt. Now this is going to be an interesting battle. It's an absolute crap ton of subs. You move in here by yourself? Yeah, you are. Ah, oh, he's not going to be able to do it by himself. I'm going to have to stop. Ah, if that port falls, we've got it. I think we're going to have to shimmy this front line just a little bit slightly. Just to give it a little bit more flexibility where we can launch offences. As, as... Oh my god, they're really pushing into here, aren't they? Can we get like a moment where we can counter-attack Leningrad? Well, technically we have Leningrad. It's just this one tile beneath because it gets behind the big river. Oh, if we had militarism right now, we have so much manpower. We lost two subs. We sunk eight destroyers. <laughs> <laughs> That's so dumb, I love it. Oh, I've lost the steel though. Where are you going? Go here. There we go, and Leningrad has fallen. Got him, boys. And we build a cheeky big fort here. Are they bombing us? Yeah, they are. Ah, uh, can't be bossed to even fight them in the air. Can't be bothered. This is going to cause them so many casualties. All right. So, I don't think we act on this, do we? Okay, what do we do? Um, I think we could do air production. We're doing so much. It's so weird how you can rely so heavily on soft attack against modern armies. I guess I'm not complaining, I suppose. Pretty crazy how effective they are. Grab that port, that's good. Please don't go in between us. There we go, perfect. So that area is secured. So now we need to make sure our southern flank gets annihilated. Our southern flank annihilates the Soviets. There we go. Correct your speech, Dave. Come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. What are we doing for equipment? We're low on guns. That's okay. Um, this guy down here. Ooh. This. Fighter. Uh, that's a two ahead of time. I like the encryption, so we'll do a bunch of that. Can't deploy the sub because we've run out of manpower. I think we can get rid of six of you. Four of you. Okay. Um, need to update the fighter now. That's important. Fighter, that's good. We'll pump out all new fighters. Need the aluminium from you. Need the... You... Good. Not even made our first fort yet. Uh, they um pretty strong in the center. I think the reason is is we don't have enough air control. Oh, it's this. My God, what a weird shape air zone. That's crazy. Uh, we make one wing there. Might as well use the interwars. Yeah, we can't get enough air power here to actually make a difference. That's sad. That's the reason why we're not winning that as much as we should. Oh my god, they've got so many fighters. Oh, technically we still have control of this zone. Because we have this one city here. 
So there's going to be a moment where the AI like grinds against our front lines over and over again, and eventually they just break themselves. What have they done here? What have they damaged? Nothing, nothing. Oh my god, they've really crippled my capital. <laughs> you know what? I don't care. Now we're doing with guns. Doing alright with guns, so we can up upgrade them, right? I should really wait for the assault rifle, right? Go here, you go here. Do the attack guy too. Looks like every time we do push them, we are doing some decent amount of damage. I don't like the way this flank's looking. Can you... Supply 10. Are they suffering attrition? They are. That's good to see. We've managed to build any forts here? Nope. I'm pretty certain we could survive there for quite a while. The bombing is slightly painful, but... I think it might be a good idea to make AA here. We can build it while we're under attack. That's good to see. Are they actually going to push us back? Oh! What? What just happened there? Oh, we're getting absolutely mauled. This area seems to be going quite well. Um, I guess I could build AA here. Well. Airport. AA. Ooh, their org is breaking! It's perfect. This is probably going to be at least 20 or so divisions that I can potentially encircle, so this will make a relatively decent impact. 430. Oh God, they've got so many more divisions than us. Yeah. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, remember to like and to subscribe. I'm having a lot of fun right now, so I want to continue. And if you've enjoyed this episode, remember to uh, drop a comment. Apart from that, have a good day. See you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.